Hello, welcome back. I know it's been a whole week since I talked to you guys. Uh, matter of fact, last time I was here, this time last week, um, I had just gotten home from getting my uh, booster shot. And yes, I did change my clothes in between there. I told you guys or somebody that during football season, I wore, this is my attire for the whole season. So <laughs> don't think that I wear this every day. But before we get started chatting, let me say my grace. Come, Lord Jesus, be my guest. Let this gift to me be blessed. And Father, I thank you for this food in which you provided for me to nourish my body. And I thank you for blessing my hands so I can make this delicious plate of food for me. And I hope that everyone joining me tonight for Football Thursday, I hope that they too have a big plate of food in front of them. And I hope everybody is safe and well and keeping themselves protected and just trying to just get back to living our best life praying for all of my family near and far, all my YouTube family near and far. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, tonight I felt like some oriental food. So I had some chicken nuggets in there, which I was going to cook in my air fryer again. But I thought, no, I'm going to fry these up. I tossed them in some of my make uh, my put-together Asian-inspired barbecue sauce, and they taste pretty doggone good. Uh, I'm telling you. Here, here's your for here's a bite. Take a bite. Like it? I know you would. <laughs> and for my beverage tonight, I have just some lemon water. But being as this is football Thursday, I might have to have me a, an adult beverage later on. <laughs> Cheers to that. I'm sorry it's taking me so long to get back on, but um, last Thursday, when I had my booster shot, and I kind of knew that I was going to have a few little side effects, because I always do. I, I get side effects. I have side effects when I have my flu shot. So I was expecting, I was well in, in expecting something to go, to go left, which it did. It didn't go left. It just... I was feeling a little off for a couple of days. By Thursday night, I had a little bit of a headache, real aching at my at the injection spot. And um, what else? I just like I said, I just felt real lethargic and kind of off. And so um, Friday, I kind of laid around, took it easy. Sophie absolutely loved it because we didn't do anything but lay in the bed all day long Friday. And by Saturday, I felt like a million bucks. I really did. But the reason why I haven't been on, I forgot to tell you guys. Well, I didn't tell you, but um, remember I told you I was going to start working in my garage? Well, the other day when I was in there, I had a little mishap. Where I bumped into a box and I bumped into this big huge box with my surgical knee. And Esther was not feeling good for days, so I really had to take it easy. <clears throat> and then, after that, is when I got my shot. That had me knocked out for a couple of days, so that's what's been going on. <laughs> mm mm mm. Pardon my, this is what my green screen makes my my vegetables look like. Anything green, the green screen turns it that color. So don't think I'm eating something weird. That's what I'm eating. <laughs> I have to explain that to my newcomers because they have never seen me before. Those that are just now stopping by. And I want to make sure that they know that I don't eat weird stuff. <laughs> this is the time of month where I take all of my... Veggies that I have left over. I either steam them up or toss them up in a stir fry like this. It's a great way to get rid of your old veggies. Put them all in a stir fry. You know what I absolutely hate? But when I made this sauce, I didn't write anything down. And it is killer. 
It's absolutely killer. Now, if you asked me what I put in it, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> Don't you hate when that happens? Have you ever done that? <laughs> Fire up my comments below and let me know if you've done that. Be honest. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I did that a lot when I was developing my cookbook. Because, you know, you never know how a recipe is going to turn out till you make it. A lot of times I would say, no, nah, that's not going to be that good. It would be killer. The best ever. And I don't, I haven't written it down. But I think I'm going to be okay with this one because I still have all the ingredients sitting on the countertop. So I'm going experiment, to experiment with it again. It's really good. So who are you guys rooting for tonight? With the Jet, Is it Jets and the Colts tonight? I don't follow, follow either of those teams, so I didn't. I don't know, but I will watch the game. And I pray that all of you that are living in those areas where you've been having some really bad weather, oh my goodness, stay safe. I'm living here in the desert. People complain about our, our hot summers, but I remind them, you know what? We got nothing to complain about. So what? We have a couple of months of, of hot weather. But then, like today, it's absolutely beautiful. I think the high today was about 76. Nice, bright, sunny day. We got nothing to complain about. Not one thing. But in my stir fry, I have green beans, Brussels sprouts, carrots, onions, lots of garlic. A scrambled egg and some zucchini and brown rice. I like brown rice on oh, this day old brown rice. I like brown rice in my stir fry better than white rice. I think it has a better flavor. It's just like when I do my um my stir fry with noodles. I use the organic buckwheat noodles. Oh man, those are good. Filling, hearty, mmm. Super good. So I have a couple of a couple of video, well, one video for sure that I will put up sometime over the weekend, and that's the the video that I was just telling you about where I had the mishap in the garage and you know all that all that other stuff. So I'll put that up sometime this weekend, so you can see what I did with the last of my grocery haul. I was able to catch um, pork shoulder on sale this time, so I bought two of them. Rather than just one like I bought last time. I bought two of them. And they were so good. Oh my god. I got one I ground up made sausage with. That'll be in the video that I'm going to upload. I ground up some. I made um, tacos with it. I made several different things. Whenever I buy a big piece, a big cut of meat like that. And you've heard me say this before. I always plan my meal around that big piece of meat. So I know exactly what I'm going to cook with it. So I'm going to let you guys go and finish my meal. And if this is your first time visiting my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate you spending a few minutes of your time with me on a Thursday night. It's Thursday, November the 4th. Can you believe it's November 4th already? What happened to 2021? Wow, we're almost at the end of the year. It's almost Christmas time. <laughs> Yeah, this year, this year for the holidays is going to be a bit of a challenge, but just keep in mind, you just have to stay patient. Everybody's going to be in the same line. <laughs> Everybody's trying to make the same travel plan. So, you know, plan ahead so you can get from point A to point B. So you can go see your parents and your grandparents and people that you haven't seen in a while. So just, you know, plan ahead. But um, th thank you so much for stopping by, and I hope that you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell down there, and the thumbs up button. That way it'll let YouTube know that you enjoyed the video. And um, stay safe, stay prayed up, and if you're traveling, definitely wear your mask. If you're not traveling, keep wearing your mask to protect yourself and others. We have to do it, you know. But we're turning the corner on this thing, and we can start to get. We can, we're going to start getting back to our our new normal. <laughs> so just be prepared for your new normal. 
And um, I'm going to go, and I'll see you when I see you. Cheers.